I've seen Costa Rica. It's spectacularly beautiful. The people are beautiful and friendly. Mm. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it's just, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful place to live. Wow, so, that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we moved here, but in the move, in the move, our scale disappeared, and we scale. So we moved a whole, a whole uh, container of stuff, half a container of stuff, plus two, so basically a whole container of stuff, uh, two cars and a cycle, and our scale disappeared. So I'm looking for a scale after we got here. And what I found was a bioimpedance scale, a scale that measured body fat and muscle maturation. Now, we started off with a cheap one. We, we graduated several times. We now use a pretty expensive device. It was about $500. And um, the next upgrade's around two grand, so we're going to hold for a while. But, but this device measures hydration levels. And we started seeing that everybody who comes to us was pretty significantly dehydrated relative to what's possible. In fact, the most hydrated person we've ever measured every time is me. And the crazy thing is, I drink less water than anyone. The difference is that I've gotten my body clean, really clean, and I now eat a high water content diet. And everything I eat is high in water content, almost without exception. Mm. In nature, that's how it is. Mm -hmm. Animals in nature eat, you know, like carnivores eat animals, this is a little bit gory, but they, they bite through the jugular vein, they drink all the blood, then they eat the water-rich internal organs, then they eat the muscle meat, and they don't cook the water out of it, right? Mm -hmm. um, animals eat plants. If you're eating leaves or shoots or fruits or even roots, or even wood, even a termite's eating something that's mostly water, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to you cut a tree down and use lumber, you have to dry it out first because it's sopping wet. Mm -hmm. So my body now stays hydrated because it's clean and I eat properly. And mm -hmm. the same thing happens with every client. We measure people's hydration. They all come in dehydrated. We get them hydrated. We clear the path for them to get hydrated. And it's amazing what changes. So, I mean, Yeah, and that's we, why we you need at least four to six weeks because uh, you're talking about a lifetime. You know, somebody's been exactly. eating a certain way for so long, you know. They need at least a week probably to just, you know, get hydrated the right way, I guess. Well, no, I mean, the, tr the truth is we don't really see a lot of hydration change until after the fast, after the refeeding, and that's mm -hmm. because while fasting, so you think about detoxification, right? We eliminate toxins from the body through five primary channels. First of all, the obvious uh, urine, right? The urinary tract, I don't know if you're aware, but our kidneys are filtering all of our blood approximately 60 times every day. All your blood goes through these filters, the kidneys, mm -hmm. to clean out all the garbage. And, and that garbage is eliminated on water. So even when someone's completely dehydrated, they're still producing tiny amounts of urine. They have to, because if they don't, the body can't detoxify. Mm -hmm. So whatever's in the bloodstream that doesn't belong is filtered out on urine, and that's why we have to pee. You know, probably, hopefully, if someone's not too dehydrated, it should be multiple times per day. Mm -hmm. We eliminate solid waste through the through the colon, right through that channel. Mm -hmm. We also eliminate some toxins and some toxins there. We eliminate some toxins through our breath, through the skin, and through mucous membranes, including mm -hmm. ears, nose, eyes, vagina, um, all mucous membranes. There's mucus, and, and mucus allows the body to encapsulate stuff that doesn't belong to eliminate. Them. Well, of these channels depends on having sufficient water. Not enough water, nothing moves. So you, you, it's impossible to get hydrated by drinking enough water. If you're eating conventionally, it's never going to happen. It's almost impossible to get hydrated by changing your diet and drinking enough water until you get all the old garbage out because the old garbage sits in the intestinal tract like a giant sponge. Oh, I it see. Water, uh -huh. And it dries. And then it dries out overnight while you're sleeping, and then the next day it absorbs water. And so you're never, never getting it. It's impossible to get enough water into your body. And that's because there's a limit to how much we can process. Right? Yeah. If you try to drink too quickly, you're, you're going to be in deep trouble. You can actually, you can, well, you can kill yourself. Yeah, I've, uh, I've heard something I read about how much water you needed to drink to actually be able to die. And it was like, uh, it's actually possible. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, it's well, also I'll water, take water take the right way. Hmm? Uh, I'm sorry, sorry, say it again. I say some people don't absorb the water the right way if you have problem with your kidney or your bladder. Uh, 
it will take the double amount of water for you to, you know, to have the same equipment as a regular person who doesn't have problems. Right, if right. If you don't well, absorb can, it properly. That, uh, hmm. according, to, according to science and medicine, technically, two healthy kidneys can process up to a maximum of one liter per hour. Mm -hmm. So we can medically drink that much. But I've seen people get in trouble trying to drink that much. I usually encourage people to drink no more than five liters per for the Americans, that's 16 ounces, right? Mm -hmm. But it has to come in slowly over the course of the hour. So you take, I mean, it would take all day, you'd have to be sipping all the time, and you still would never get hydrated because a lot of it would be absorbed as a giant sponge sitting in the intestines. Once we clean the body out, and right fasting allows the body to get rid of the five to 10 kilograms of old material that a Danish study said is pretty common. And we see that here all the time. Um, we know we have people that are eliminating pounds and pounds, kilos and kilos of this old hard stuff. It's not the watermelon and papaya that we're refeeding them with. This is stuff that's dark and foul and it's painful to eat. This is stuff that's been there for years, in some cases probably decades. Getting that stuff out changes everything. That only happens if we fast both long enough mm -hmm. and properly. Okay? So mm -hmm. it's important to point out, I don't want anyone listening, you know, fasting is a natural process. And theoretically, it should be safe. The problem is, is that everyone's dehydrated, and most are quite toxic, just living a normal life. Mm -hmm. And so, fasting really should always be supervised. And I know it might sound self-promoting because I, I supervise fast for a living. Yeah. Um, but but every expert who really understands fasting has talked or written about this over the last 150 years has said the same thing. No one should ever fast more than five to seven days without having experience guidance. You know, here, mm -hmm. I hear probably almost almost every day, uh, almost like five times a week, I'll get an email from someone saying, please help me, I fasted on my own, I created issues, now I need some help recovering from those. And this happens over and over again. So when people fast with, with my guidance, what happens is amazing. And so and you, you asked me about at the beginning about sharing some stories. If, if I can, I'd love to share some of those stories with you. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, go so, ahead. Let's start with let's start with some general some general facts. Um, there was actually a study, a double blind study, performed uh, out of California, probably twelve or thirteen years ago. What they did was they took I forget how many I think it was uh, two hundred people with hypertension, and uh, some of them were fasted. And what they found was that fasting was more than three times as effective for reducing hypertension, high blood pressure than anything else they tried, including hypertensive drugs, assault, you know, meditation. Fasting was more than three as effective as anything else. Here, over the 23 plus years, 23 and a half years roughly, that Tanglewood has existed, we've taken more than 400 hypertensive people through fasts of 21 days or more. Every single one of them, except one, has seen a reduction in hypertension to the point that their blood pressure when they leave us, when they're finished, mm -hmm. is below normal. Oh. Below normal. Okay? okay. Now, one gentleman, last year I had a client who was in his 70s, whose original blood pressure was something like 176 over 110, something like that. Mm -hmm. and, and to give you a sense of what that means, statistically, with blood pressure that high, he had about 112% greater likelihood of a heart attack or stroke than the average man in his age bracket, let's say 75. Okay, Those oh, I have only lives. five minutes, we and have only four minutes to go. So let's try to finish that story, okay. I'm sorry, was, uh, we have what? As I'm running out, we have four minutes to go. So no, go ahead, okay. finish that really quick. So, um, yeah, so, so a, guy, a guy that age has about, you know, has a very, very high likelihood of having a heart stroke. Uh, his, his blood pressure when he was done was still above normal. It was 126 or uh, 80 or something like that, which meant he had almost completely eliminated any risk that he had. Mm -hmm. Almost wow. uh, every other person eliminate, eliminates it completely. With type 2 diabetes, 100% success of taking people off their medication with no further need for medication as long as they continue to follow the program I give. And you know, this we is huge. This is huge to people. know, like you're saying, because a lot of those people are under so many medication for years and they like 
there's no way I'm gonna get off that, you know? So that's it's, right, you know, right. they, they and, don't and wanna hear like, that. really there's a way I can survive without, you know? They've never been yeah, told well, different. And, you know, a lot of people never ask the question because they, again, they don't realize that the medications are actually harming them. You know, the reason medications all have side effects is because of the toxicity. So if you're taking medications at all, you are making your body more toxic. And what I'm telling people is, in almost every case, you can come off the medications, be healthier than you've been in decades, maybe ever, feel and function amazingly well. Because perfect health is the natural birthright of every organism, including our bodies. Absolutely. Our bodies function incredibly well. Yeah. Yes, I mean. But actually, if, it's, if it's okay with you, if it's okay with you, I'd like to offer your listeners a free gift. Okay. If they're interested. Mm -hmm. um, I have, a, I have a, an ebook which talks all about how to optimize your diet. And it's it, we normally sell it for, I think, for $29.99, something like that. It's available for free. All someone has to do is to write to us at info, I-N-F-O, info at Tanglewood Wellness Center, C E N T E R, not the English spelling, the American spelling, Tanglewood Wellness Center dot com. And just say um, ebook Vanessa Bush Show. And we'll be glad to, to email you a link to that ebook so you can you can read it for free. I guarantee you're gonna find it to be an invaluable resource. It will cost you nothing. All right, sounds great. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm okay. going to make sure to put the link so if they didn't um, catch up uh, the words exact, uh, they can uh, look under the episode and they'll be able to click and uh, get Perfect. that book for free. So, yeah, take advantage yeah. of that. I, I, I'm actually I'm, uh, typing the, the link to you right now. All right, sounds good. You, have exactly. you can just copy and paste it. You know, this was a wonderful and incredible story. And you know what? You're a survivor and you have helped so many people to, uh, you know, get healthy in their life and not having to be tired all the time, which is a wonderful thing. Exactly. And being able to yeah, just do the thing you want to do in life, you know, without sitting and right. just feeling like aches and pain all the time. Nobody wants to feel that way. No, of course not. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good way. You you only have one life, you know, so you should have a healthy life at least. Yeah. All right. So that Perfect. was uh, Lauren Lockman, everybody, and see you all next time on Vanessa's podcast.